Never in my 25 years of service have I seen anyone have such blatant disrespect. Oh my god! <laughs> Everyone was looking at you, the whole restaurant, as you kept pretending like you were Mr. Walters. Well, of course, the real Mr. Walters was right there. Completely appalled. Not knowing what to say or do. Honestly, I've never met such an uptight old man. <laughs> With the most ridiculous mustache. <laughs> Seems so angry about a practical joke. It was so not a practical joke. <laughs> we lied our way into taking their table and completely ruined their night. Anyway, cheers to three years together. And Mr. Walters, of course. Without him, we never would have been able to try oh. the famous Jason's Kebabs. Cheers to that. What do you fancy? Something slow or a bit more upbeat? Mm, maybe something in between. All right, now. <laughs> I think this song will be more to your liking. Ah, yes. I remember. It was a warm evening in May. And as soon as this song started playing, I looked across the room and saw you for the very first time. You were ordering your signature drink. A Johnny Martini. Uh, it was in Manhattan, actually. So I walked over there, and in my most confident voice, I said... I haven't stopped thinking about you ever since you walked in 24 seconds ago. Please, let me have this done. And even though you thought I was being a bit too forward... And possibly a creep. You looked up at me. And said... Sure. So I took your hand and led you to the dance floor. I did in mind ever since. Uh, Tom, please can you change the song? Just wait. No, Thomas, I said change it. I cannot listen to this. Wait. What's going on? Don't talk to me. The song you played that night. Look, mate, I don't want to talk about it. Let's not talk about it. I'll go to sleep. I've got an early morning, so I'd rather just... Good night. No, no, Tom. We always do this. I need answers. I need to know how you feel about this. I can't live my life with someone who won't even tell me when they're upset. I don't want to hear this. You keep avoiding this topic. You can't run away now. Tom, please, can you just... I want to talk about it. Please just fucking talk to me. You want to talk about it? Fine, let's talk about it. Let's talk about how you screwed another guy behind my back. Or how you didn't tell me for months. Or how I forgave you because I've always loved you, Maddie. I forgave you because it was over. And you mean so much to me. I told myself it wouldn't come between us. Did you? You say you forgive me, but you don't. After I told you about him, you just continued acting the same, treating me the same. As if everything was fine, but it wasn't fine. God, Thomas, it was a cry for help and you didn't even realize. You screwed someone else and you're the you victim in the scenario. Don't ask why. You said you loved me, that you cared for me, but you never made time for me. It was always your job, no matter what happened to me, no matter what I was going through, all you cared about was your damn job and doing whatever it took to get that fucking promotion. My career, Madeline. Something I've been working on my entire life. It's important what to me. What about me? What about me? When my mother died, you... 
You couldn't even take one day off to take care of me. And I know your job's important, I get it. But, but when I needed you, you weren't there. And fine, what I did was wrong. But do you know who was there for me? Don't say it. Daniel. God, no. Yes, Daniel was you there for me. When I desperately, I don't hear when it. I desperately needed someone, he was there. Where you should have been. So, yes, you can blame me all you want, but you were in the wrong too. You hurt me, Tom.